Happy Monday morning to you guys. Let's go through the news. Welcome back. Signing of a trade agreement with China very soon. We have achieved a breakthrough regarding the trade agreement and it will sign and we will sign it very soon. Okay, so the Trump administration along with China will be signing the trade agreement very soon. Foreign investors are starting to withdraw from Iraq. Until now, the disturbances did not seriously affect the main entry of the Iraqi economy, that is oil, which generates 6 to $7 billion per month, equivalent to 90% of the country's income. And oil experts did not face any cuts, he said. Senior officials of the Ministry of Oil, she added, that production was also not affected by the repeated sit-ins and the closure of roads leading to the major oil fields in the south where the bulk of Iraq's oil resources were located, but the future investments are now under threat. Foreign investors are withdrawing from deals in the energy sector and other sectors as well. We had American supporters ready to participate and to pump money into Iraq, but they're turning back on their heels. That's a given, guys, because Iraq is taking way too long to get anything done. That's it for that. Uh, UK MPs approved Boris Johnson's Brexit deal. So the uh, the Brexit deal is now done. They've approved it. That's been a long time coming. Here here's a quick quick news blurb on it. <laughs> the eyes to the right, three hundred and fifty eight. The nose to the left, 234. Yeah. 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 By uh, my count. The eyes to the right were 358. The nose to the left were 234. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Uh, UK MPs have approved the Brexit deal. Let's get on to the rest of the news. So a member of the Sauter Alliance talks about a surprise brought to him by Sela regarding the alternative to Abdul Mahdi. It will be known within 48 hours. We'll see who they announce on that. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing major in there. Alawi is acceptable to the blocks and Suhail will not pass in Parliament. Suhail, guys, is Iranian. All right. Alawi is not Iranian. He will be the best choice for the demonstrators right now. I brought his biography over. Um, he he has been, he's worked for the uh, for the Maliki government as the communications minister, but again, he's not Iranian. He is also a cousin to one of the former prime ministers, Ayad Alawi. I found that out very interesting. But again, I just wanted to show you he's actually not Iranian, so the demonstrators will really like him. On Monday evening today, they're going to have a they're going to complete the voting on the remaining paragraphs of the electoral bill. And that's it, guys. There's not a lot of news today. We'll do one more refresh, see if there's anything else out there. Parliamentary extends the session to today to 8 in the evening, and that's probably what we just announced to you about the um about doing the elect the you know completing the electoral bill. Okay, well they're, they're just telling you they're extending it to eight o'clock this evening. But again, earlier news said that was for the electoral bill. So there you guys go. Happy Monday to you guys. Have a great day. Not a lot of news. Um, I'm not I'm not following the political news really closely, guys, because when they put the political news out, that's where they lie the most. They're all over the board. Anyway, guys, have a great day and God bless.